Green tubing runs throughout this West Austin home. At one end is an oxygen machine. At the other end is Doug McLean, an ex-Air Force engineer who can no longer breathe on his own. In 2015, he was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. So that's why they call it idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic is not because of the idiot that caused it. As funny as McLean is, the disease is not. Doctors gave McLean weeks to live. He entered Hospice Austin. They gave me the care and the support that I needed. And most of all, the encouragement. The green tubing that supports McLean's life also limits it. It keeps Doug on a leash of sorts, preventing the couple from traveling. But after about a year with Hospice Austin, McLean got stronger. So he decided to take up his friend's offer to go on a road trip. Longtime friend Jim and his dog Chester drove a big motorhome down from Boston to Austin last month. The nearly month long trip to Tempe, Arizona for a symposium was filled with magnificent views, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. I was not a happy camper. A flat tire, a tire blowout, the AC going out, and food poisoning are just a few lowlights. It's all documented in an online journal with an eye catching title. Still, McLean wouldn't change a thing. Just talking about one of his best friends gets him choked up. There's no way I could ever repay it. Their friends, two children and two grandchildren, are the world to them. Sue's worst fear is losing part of her family. Losing him. Just can't imagine after all this time. The couple of nearly 54 years treat every day as a gift, hoping for enough time to take one last trip. Ginny Glee, KB News Nightbeat.